Welcome to the Lakers News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Now let's dive into the latest updates surrounding the Lakers. With Christian Wood and Jared Vanderbilt likely sidelined for the preseason and the start of the regular season, we're facing a lineup crisis. The team is currently looking at a 10-man rotation, but that's the best-case scenario. There is still some uncertainty with players like Jalen H. Serino, Bronny James, and Maxwell Lewis, and relying on two-way contracts could be a gamble. In response, the Lakers are actively seeking ways to bolster their depth. They recently extended an invitation to a seven-year veteran and former teammate of LeBron James, Sadie Osman. However, Osman chose to pursue opportunities in Europe. This shift highlights the Lakers' commitment to enhancing competitiveness and depth on the team. Although an invite to training camp does not guarantee a roster spot, it could lead to a two-way contract or a minimum guaranteed deal if they decide to make room. This strategy shows that the Lakers are not just standing still, but are actively seeking solutions. While it is unclear if the Lakers will add a player to their 15-man roster, the goal with Sadie Osman was likely to increase competition in training camp, especially among young forwards like Cam Reddish, Max Christie, and Jalen Huchifino. No one's spot is secure, and this competition aims to push everyone to perform at their best. With Osman out of the picture, there are still intriguing free agent options for the Lakers. One name to watch is Troy Brown Jr. Remember him from last summer? He had a solid stint with the Lakers, averaging 7 points and 4.1 rebounds per game, along with a respectable 38.1% from three-point range. Despite his recent struggles, his familiarity with the team and past solid performances make him a candidate worth considering for a training camp invite. His presence could create healthy competition, particularly for Reddish and Christie, and elevate the practice level. Another interesting name is Isaiah Livers. He is a free agent eligible for a two-way contract. Livers showed promise early in his career, but had a tough season last year. Despite this, he has a strong shooting track record, including a 38% three-point shooting rate in his rookie year. His versatility and potential could make him a valuable addition, especially if he can return to his previous shooting form. Dennis Smith Jr. is also on the radar. Known for his elite perimeter defense and solid all-around game, Smith could bring significant competitiveness to the training camp. His defense is top-notch, and he has shown potential in various aspects of his game. If he can improve his three-point shooting, he could make a big difference for any team. Finally, consider Olivier Saar. The older brother of top draft pick Alex Saar, Olivier has shown he can contribute effectively in the NBA and G League. With his strong three-point shooting and rim protection, he could be a solid candidate for a two-way contract, providing depth and competition. These four players, Brown, Livers, Smith Jr. and Saar, each bring unique skills and could be great additions to the Lakers training camp. Whether or not they end up on the roster, their presence would certainly heighten competition and help raise the overall level of the team. As a true Lakers fan, know that challenges are just opportunities in disguise. With Christian Wood and Jared Vanderbilt out during the preseason and possibly the early weeks of the regular season, the Lakers roster depth is at stake. The team is working with a 10-man rotation, which is an ideal scenario, but there are still uncertainties about the participation of players like Jalen H. Serino, Bronny James, and Maxwell Lewis. Additionally, two-way contracts are far from a guarantee that these players will be ready to contribute when needed most. In light of this, the team is seeking alternatives to strengthen the roster. Recently, the attempt to add a seven-year veteran and former LeBron James teammate to the training camp did not work out. Sadie Osman, who could have brought new energy to the team, opted to pursue his career in Europe. However, this does not discourage the Lakers. The strategy is clear. The team is looking to intensify competition and increase roster depth. There is still room to add a player to the 15-man roster, which could be a smart move for the team. The goal with Sadie Osman was to create healthy competition during training camp, especially among young forwards like Cam Reddish, Max Christie, and Jalen Huchifino. The message is clear. No one has a guaranteed spot in the rotation, and these players need to work hard to secure their place. Although Osman is off the scene, the Lakers can still look for other free agents to fill this gap. An interesting name to consider is Troy Brown Jr. Although not eligible for a two-way contract, Brown has previously performed well with the Lakers. Last season, he averaged 7 points, 4.1 rebounds, and had an impressive 38.1% from three-point range. His experience in chemistry with LeBron James and Anthony Davis make him a solid option to strengthen the bench. 
Another name to consider is Isaiah Livers, a free agent eligible for a two-way contract. Although his last season was disappointing, Livers showed potential in his first two years in the NBA, especially in three-point shooting. His skills and defensive capabilities could bring significant value to the team. And let's not forget Dennis Smith Jr., one of the league's best perimeter defenders. His exceptional defense, combined with his ability to create plays, makes him a valuable addition to training camp. Even if he's not eligible for a two-way contract, his presence could boost competition and elevate the level of practice. Finally, Olivier Saar is another name worth exploring. He is the older brother of the second overall pick in the 2024 draft, Alex Saar. With his NBA and G League experience and impressive three-point shooting ability, Saar could be a great addition on a two-way contract, offering a solid and reliable option for the team. As the preseason progresses and the Lakers adjust their roster, the focus is on finding the right balance between youth and experience. The absence of key players during training can create unexpected opportunities for emerging talents. For Cam Reddish, Max Christie, and Jalen Huchafino, this is a chance to stand out and secure their place in the main rotation. These young players are making the most of the available minutes and showing they can contribute significantly, especially in a competitive environment like the Lakers. As the regular season approaches, Lakers management is also keeping an eye on the free agent market and potential trades. The team has not ruled out seeking additional reinforcements if opportunities arise that could further improve roster depth. The work does not stop here. A coaching staff is constantly evaluating and adjusting strategies to maximize the team's potential. Additionally, the impact of the additions and roster moves will be crucial for the Lakers' performance in the season. The chemistry between players, adaptation to playing styles, and ability to handle pressure will be determining factors. LeBron James and Anthony Davis remain key pillars for the team's success, but contributions from new and young talents will be essential to achieving the season's goals. The role of the coach and management team is also of utmost importance. The ability to identify and develop talent, adjust strategies as needed, and maintain player morale and motivation is crucial for success. The preseason is a phase of experimentation and adjustment, and the decisions made now will have a direct impact on the team's performance during the season. Therefore, as we watch the Lakers prepare for the start of the season, it's important to stay tuned to updates and team movements. The decisions made now could shape the team's future and determine the path to success. Stay informed and engaged, and don't miss the upcoming updates on the Lakers and what's to come. As a Lakers fan, I'm excited to see how the team will adapt to the changes this season. The absence of Christian Wood and Jared Vanderbilt at the start of the preseason really tests our roster depth. Although working with a 10-man rotation is ideal, the uncertainty about the participation of Jalen H. Serino Bronny James, and Maxwell Lewis adds a layer of complexity. The Lakers' search for alternatives, like the invite to Sadie Osman, shows that the team is active in seeking improvement. While Osman decided to pursue a career in Europe, the changes surrounding roster additions are a positive sign that management is committed to finding solutions. Troy Brown Jr. is an interesting option. His familiarity with the team and past performance with the Lakers could make him a valuable asset, especially if he brings back that three-point shooting ability he showed at his best with the team. His presence in training could raise the level of competition and potentially inspire other players to stand out. Isaiah Livers also seems like a promising addition. His three-point shooting ability and defensive prowess are qualities that the Lakers might need, especially with the lack of depth at the forward position. If he can return to the form he showed in previous seasons, he could be a good addition to the roster. Dennis Smith Jr. is a fascinating alternative due to his exceptional defense. Even with some struggles and long-range shooting, his defensive skills and playmaking ability could be a great asset for the team. The competitiveness he would bring to training could benefit everyone involved, pushing players to elevate their game. Olivier Saar is another name to consider. His three-point shooting ability and experience in the NBA and G League are differentiators. If he can show consistent contributions, he could be a great addition, especially on a two-way contract. Overall, the search for experienced players and the attempt to add depth to the roster show that the Lakers are committed to strengthening the team to face the challenges of the season. As a fan, I remain optimistic about these moves and eager to see how these new names can impact the team. What do you think of the mention options?